So this is one for all you people who find it difficult to sit crisscross applesauce with your legs crossed. I'm gonna show you two things you can do to gradually work yourself towards being able to sit crisscross applesauce. Take one ankle, put it over the other knee. You can keep this leg pretty straight so that this is low enough that you can get it there. If your knee is up, that's totally fine. Take your hand, put it right here. You're gonna contract. Use your butt muscles, push into your hand. It's like you're trying to go down like that, but you're resisting with your hand. You should feel the outer hip firing. Keep getting used to feeling that firing sensation so those muscles are able to pull you down that way. The opposite direction, you put your hand other side here, and then you pull up, 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 feeling the contraction of your inner thigh. And that is gonna train the muscles on the outer hip and the inner hip to be able to control the position. You push, 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 push. You will find that you are improving your range of motion on both sides, and you're able to get further and further and further because the muscles on both sides are getting better. And then you can sit crisscross applesauce.